Joining me, joining me now is Independent Women's Foreign Senior uh, Forum Senior Policy Analyst Patrice Leon Wuka. Patrice, your reaction? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, Bernie Sanders was in the hot seat, and boy, did those black women give it to him pretty hard. I think he he struggled to try to figure out, you know, what talking point he could hit and what policy positions he could demonstrate, and they just weren't having it. Bernie also doubled down on giving felons the right to vote from prison oh. before they finish their sentences. Bernie compared the felon voting rights to the voting rights of women and minorities. Watch. I was criticized rather strongly because I said that when we talk about the right to vote, that right should exist to people who are currently in jail. That is a right we must protect because we know the history of this country. We know that women didn't have the right to vote. We know that African Americans didn't have the right to vote. So my view is it's not a question of if you're a good person or a bad person. If you commit a crime, you pay the price, go to jail. All right, the Boston Marathon bomber now has the same moral equivalence as Rosa Parks or Susan B. Anthony? It is incomprehensible, and frankly, it's insulting, Liz. I mean, uh, restoring the right to vote after you've committed a serious crime is very different from securing the right to vote that you didn't have before. You know, women and blacks, they didn't forfeit their right to vote because of, what, because of their behavior. They certainly didn't have it. And so, you know, to conflate those two, uh, those two demographics is really ridiculous. And I think it demonstrates more of a power or a vote grab, really, than it does any sort of serious policy solution here. Even share, share thinks Bernie Sanders wrong is wrong. I mean, voting is a civic duty. It's about having the best interests of the community in mind, which terrorists, mm -hmm. murderers and rapists don't have. I mean, the Boston Marathon bomber killed people, including a child and felons mm -hmm. get to vote after they pay the price, only when they finish their sentence. The Boston Marathon bomber is on death row. I mean, Bernie's trying to say they're paying mm -hmm. the price before they finish uh, the I don't know what he's saying. I mean, does he really yeah. want the federal government to step in and override what the states have already long settled? Well, I think he does. You know, and I think it's important to really separate those two. We're talking about people who are still behind bars. And part of that punishment is the removal of the right to vote. So to restore that while you're still behind bars is really to kind of negate some of the punishment of what you've done. And now let's just also be clear. We're not just talking about low-level drug offenders. We're talking about people who, as you mentioned, are rapists, bombers, people who, are, uh, who pose a serious threat to, to the public and who have, have really violated the public trust. So to to say, you know, these are folks who should be able to vote um, while they're behind bars, I think both logistically, but also from a, a principled moral standpoint, is really bankrupt. All right, quickly, I just want to switch gears. Millionaire Senator Bernie Sanders also once said that it is, quote, immoral that members of Congress and senators are millionaires. He is still collecting tens of thousands of dollars from his pension when he was long ago mayor of Burlington, Vermont. He pays an effective 26 percent tax rate. If he was really about taxing the rich, as he's said other people should pay, he should be paying at least 50 percent in the tax rate effectively, <laughs> given his tax rate hikes that he wants to do. Well, Liz, I don't think he's cutting a check for the difference and sending that in, nor do I think he's, he's um, gotten rid of his accountant and said, you know what, I'm not going to take any sort of tax deduction or tax credit or anything. I'm just going to pay a full flat fee uh, or flat tax. You know, uh, he, he is really... Honestly, it, it just exposes the hypocrisy um, that he wants other people to he wants to do something with other people's money, but he doesn't want to do the same thing with his own money. And, and unfortunately, we see a lot of that coming from the left. Patrice Leon Wuka, great to see you. Come back soon. Good to see